Okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys how I install this. Now, no, I am not an electrician or HVAC or anything. I have no certification, so please don't take this as a how-to, but I'm just gonna show you what I did in case you guys are missing any information. As I was missing information for this, uh, what the heck a C-wire is, so I'm gonna explain that as well. So first and foremost, you need a C-wire for this type of thing if your thermostat does not already have one or your AC unit does not have one. So what is a C-wire? So basically it is your power for positive and negative, and that could be from a 12 volt, 12 volt to 24 volt or higher, in this case, this is a 24 volt and that puts out one amp up to, so I don't know, like you have to research what your device needs to power and then get one of those for that. So I'm gonna show you with this ripped off. So it goes into here and then here's all your labeling and I have it going to RRC and C. C is common, RRC, I'm not sure what that translates to, I forget. And this is only a furnace. I do not have anything else. And this is a boiler furnace, I believe. So all these, I have no idea. Mine is RH and WE to turn on heat, and then I had to program it through here. So that's what I had to do. I'll show you the wires from the old one as well. All right, so during installation of this, it, as you can see, it's B-O-G-Y-W-R. I had W and R in use as this thing did not have AC. So I, had, or any uh, C wire for the turning it on and off, this was battery operated, but this is what it looked like before. And once you have all that installed, you can go to this is fan and all that. So you can adjust all these things. For me, I just need uh, heat. I don't have a fan of mine, so that does nothing. Connect. You can connect Wi-Fi because you can actually control this from your phone. Set schedules, settings, preference. I'm not sure what that does. Okay, so Fahrenheit, screen brightness. Let you turn that up. Hi. Okay. Screen turn out, one minute, screen saver on, button sound, don't need that, so we'll go back up, advanced, so you can set how you want to run, like fan purge, 60 seconds, heat minimum runtime, maximum runtime, heat cycle, heat hysteresis, don't know how to pronounce that, so basically this just offsets it, so you have the calibration to what you need it to, same thing with the humidity calibration, but this comes out of the box, at least for me, perfectly set up as the old one, so I don't have to mess with any of those settings. Runtime. So this shows you heat runtime so far since I've installed this, so it's been 5 hours and 46 minutes. Air filter time, same thing, so I'll tell you when you have to replace the air filter, but again, I don't have AC or anything, so I don't know. How you guys would set it up for yourselves but that's been my exploration on this so far and i hope this helps to some degree